I'm delighted now to be joined by two very important people, without whom it's no exaggeration to say the entire meeting wouldn't be possible. Dr. Eric Williams and Dr. Tanuja Gandhi are APA Annual Meeting Scientific Programme Committee Chair and Vice Chair. Well, first of all, thank you very much indeed for joining us today on what is such a busy week for you. So thank you. Thank you, thank for, you having for having us. us. Fantastic to be here in New York. Absolutely. Um, I think we're going to do it once every three years now because it's just such a vibrant city and people love coming to NYC. Because I think the numbers now are back to pre-pandemic levels. We're getting there. I think there's a combination of in-person and virtual meetings, but in-person meetings still are very popular because think about it in a city like New York, you have the opportunity to do learning in the meeting and socialize in ways that you can't in most other places. That is absolutely for sure. So let's talk a little bit about the, uh, about the meeting itself. What are some of, the, uh, some of the sessions this week that play to the agenda of uh, confronting addiction from prevention to recovery? We're looking at addiction, not just in the ways that people think of as just drugs, but we're also looking at addiction to tech, addiction to using AI, addiction in youth, addiction in adults. Um, there's one session that we have about children and e-cigarettes. Wow. Uh, if you talk with kids nowadays, they're gonna tell you, no, nobody smokes, but we all vape. <laughs> and that's an addiction in, in and of itself. And that's one of the things that we're gonna be looking at. And what are some of the water cooler talking points this week? So you get the bread and butter kind of topics with things you want to learn in a meeting, opioid addictions and how do you diagnose and treat them and like Eric said, you know, across the age group. The other themes that come up is there's a little something for everyone. There's a little bit for trainees, for med students, for practicing professionals, be it early or mid-career. Um, so the main themes are what we want to look for and the program has been designed in such a way that you can identify your interest and have a track of your own on the annual meeting app. A lot of people coming to New York for the first time, to this meeting for a first time, it's a big meeting. So what's the advice that you would have for first time attendees, how to navigate this? Well, now we have the app, which is great. So my, my first annual meeting, I think it was 2003, and you just had that big program <laughs> book, and you, you had to flip through and figure out what you wanted to do. But as uh, Dr. Gandhi said, we have the app now that has things tagged on it. So I have some medical students that came with me. So I'm telling them, look for anything with a medical student tag on it and you'll find some like-minded folks and you kind of your, your like-minded position and and there are sessions that are tailored just to you and that can help make it a little bit smaller uh, my advice is don't get overwhelmed because that's one of the big reasons why people don't come to a big meeting the reason it's big is because we are catering to the needs of a very diverse membership and people from all across the world so don't get overwhelmed and you know like we've been talking about you'll find a little something for you take the time look at the app look at the brochure the meeting book and find friends to hang out with because that's what makes the meeting interesting well thank you both so much for uh, joining us good luck with the meeting and thanks for all the work you put into it so thank you thank you thank you